I'm sorry, man. You're not working out. I have to kick you off the team. You're up, buddy. Hello, all of you beautiful people, and welcome. Ooh, DLC. Da 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 da. Ah, it's you. <laughs> Hello! Uh, Clive? Yep, that's me, Clive, the normal academy student. Anyway, Danorski, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. Why did you join in the first place, buddy? I need answers, that's all. Well, that sounds fair enough. Team Star is the subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the academy, you know? Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they holded up their bases, plotted, they hold, they... Yeah. The matter I am directly confronted with is something else. I'm talking about Team Star's persistent truancy. They've all been skipping classes for a while now. Five of them, and to be so called bosses of Team Star, haven't so much as set foot inside a classroom for over a year. Hmm? If they got bullied, I'd also not go into class. Oh, the phone! It's the person! Can you hear me? Whisper, whisper. Another time then. Whisper, whisper. Be careful. I see Coming up to one of Team Star's bases, was there someone you were just right now? Mmm, it's just me. I'm totally not lying to you right now. Bullshit. Well, be warned that Team Star will have its guard up after losing one boss to you already. This base won't go down as easily as the last one. Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. Pfft, caution, caution schmoshin. I don't need that. Wait, hold up. Just going on a hunch here, but are you that Donarski kid? <laughs> yeah, boy. Beep, cause there's some kid locked out beating our squads. Now, time to kick butt. Defeat 30 of Team Star's Pokemon in three, two, one, start hole. You know, these challenges, like these specific challenges that you have to defeat 30 Pokemon is pretty decently easy if you have strong enough Pokemon. Why the heck do they give you 10 minutes to take down these things if they only faint in one hit? Finish! Well, that was a load of sh- Oh, man. Giacomo? 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 Guacamole. You've done a real number on us, party crasher. Dinorski, was it? I, Guacamole, at the deck. I go by DJ Vice. Call me what- What the heck is this voice? You are challenged by guacamole <laughs> team stuff. Okay, well this will be fun. All right, so I think Ponyard's a dark, but it's also a fighting type, right? Okay, one hit, that's it. <laughs> but that was a little easier than expected. But now we have to fight the car. So exactly, right? Terrasalize, go for a good old low kick, and this should be able to knock him out. Hopefully, possibly. Oh, he's level 20. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I got this. That's the one thing about Scarlet and Violet is that they don't really tell you the levels of all the specific places within the world. Like on the one side of the map, it could be easy opponents. Like on the other side of the map, there could be hard opponents. Like the girl with the fire boots was especially a pain in the carcass. Wicked dork. No way. See, that, did, that barely did any damage. <laughs> ha! How's that for an opening track? <laughs> Dude, that did nothing. And one more good hit, and that ought to do it. And bada bing. Bada boom. I guess. Yay! We did it! Guess that's that. Guess that's that. What's up, Guac? Did something happen? The big boss just wanted me to take some stuff. So we had a chat and settled on a few plans. A few plans? Like for what? Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined us recently? Well, we figured we gotta make some team rules, like a code, to be on the same page. I like the pirate's code. Of course we know, you forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone and they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after like five minutes. <laughs> I cannot help but concur. Male students, hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape. <laughs> it's so oh. Your rules were vexation made manifest. My point exactly. So y'all all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you always know what's best for the team, Guac. You look out for us. You've earned our trust many times. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck-up student council prez isn't who you are anymore, man. Oh, I forgot that... Oh, shoot. He was the student council. Huh. Didn't know that. A code written by you I'm looking at now. I'd follow that any day. As would I. 
Okay, okay, thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. <laughs> I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days are a boss as are as a boss are over. So here, take my star badge, would you? I'll give you this choice TM2. You earned it fair and square. <laughs> Foul play! Sir, that is but Foul play. Sorry to interrupt, but are you Giacoma? Well, ho, wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You get a Quaxwell to style that up for you? Hey, I have a Quaxwell. I just realized that. I guess they- oh, fair enough. <laughs> I didn't even realize that till now. As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal, though we don't know if they'll be coming back. A pal, a close friend of yours? Maybe the person on the stinking phone! The team star on this big boss of yours, they're really that important to you? Heh! <laughs> is the blue- is the sky blue? The f- Ring, ring, ring! It's me! I take it that the star badge is in your possession. Yes, it is! I see. With this boss out of the picture, the Sega Squad is pretty much done for. <sighs> my friend. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some lemon points. Use those new TMs to strengthen your Pokemon even further. I'll have my spy you wanna wrap up, meet you later! Oh, looky who showed up! It's you again! What's up? Hey, stop that! <laughs> what is going on? Somebody help! Blech, it drooled all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? Uh, I have no idea. I'm amazed you're so calm with a giant question mark of a Pokemon at your side. Uh, but before I forget, here's your reward. Just the second the phone call disappears, you just show up out of nowhere. Since you're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? They're pretty strong. Bullshit. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. But, uh, that's just info I got by hacking other students' social media accounts. Jeez, you're a hacker, alright. Also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses. Someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. Hmm, I don't normally talk about this stuff. Now my throat kind of hurts. Oh, pff, excuses. So, um, good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. So, that's the lesson for today. Don't bully others, you piece of sh**.